You're watching Markets with Noon on ET now. I'm Anisha Jain. With me is Ajay Sharma. We're in the thick of the earnings season and Lupin managed to report a good set of earnings. So let's get the discussion going with the management. Uh, Ms. Vanita Gupta, who's the CEO. Mr. Nilesh Gupta, the MD, as well as Ramesh Swaminathan, who's the ED and CFO, are joining us on the show now. Thank you so much for making time and speaking with ET now. Vanita, let me start with you and talk about the US sales because in Q4, we saw a good performance come by. But what's the outlook going forward? What's the situation on ground when it comes to the US sales? In fiscal year 23, we have uh, worked hard to improve the U.S. margins quarter after quarter, uh, including portfolio rationalization, optimization efforts, and uh, that has yielded results, as you can see. Um, and uh, as we go into the new fiscal year with uh, the new product launches that uh, we are we have planned uh, with Sariba, with Darunavir launching in June, um, as well as other product launches, we expect to grow the U.S. Uh, business, um, uh, hopefully double digit. Um, on the inline, the baseline products, we've seen pricing erosion stabilize, uh, you know, after um, a couple of years of significant uh, price pressures. So we are starting to see uh, some stability in the inline business. So combination of uh, margin improvement, stabilization of the inline business, plus the new product launches, we're very optimistic that fiscal year 24 is going to be a strong year for the U.S. Yeah, that's very encouraging to know high double-digit uh, growth in U.S. and easing pricing pressures. That will make a lot of shareholders of yours quite excited. Tell us about uh, what's the status on Spiriva approval. Everyone have been waiting on the street to hear more on that. Yes, we are close at this point uh, with the approval. We've had a couple of... Uh, uh, communications with the agency to clarify things and believe that uh, by next quarter we should be in a position to get approved and, and launched. Well, so just to clarify, by next quarter you mean Q2, right? And uh, just to get a better understanding, the early part of the second quarter or the fag end? We believe uh, it should be early Q2. Uh, let me come to you now. Talk to us uh, why your operating uh, other income came in slightly higher this time and should we treat it uh, just as a one-off this quarter? No, this is actually com income coming in from the PLI schemes announced by the government. Uh, as you recognize, this is uh, highly sustainable. So it's not really in one-off and it will continue in the quarters to come as well. Uh, aggregated for uh, you know the previous quarters as well. So to the extent the total quantum might be on the little on the higher side, but uh, the income per se is of course sustainable over time. Let me bring you into the conversation as well. The India portfolio growth has been a bit subpar. What's the strategy to get the growth back on track here? So progressively through the quarters, we've seen the growth as per IQVA, right? So the first two, three quarters were very, very low. So our growth was 1%, 6%, 7.5%. And now we're back to double-digit growth with 11.3% in the quarter. If you adjust the diabetes portfolio, our growth is pretty much at the market growth rate. So 15.2% versus the market at 15.5%. Um, and as you know, the our main pain point has been diabetes where... We've seen loss of exclusivity on certain products. We've seen genericization across certain products as well, which has led to, you know, this pressure on on growth. But overall, I, th I think we're largely we're we're back to growth. Um, you know, strong double digit growth is what I would expect. Um, you know, if you look at you know respiratory, if you look at cardiac, if you look at newer areas like GI, um, if you look at uh, even CNS, you see strong growth um, across the board um, and that's something that we would expect to continue through the quarters now so double digit growth is what we would expect to be back to so again the two big parts i think the u.s stabilizing which i think is largely done india getting back to double digit growth that seems to be in place as well so with that we would hope for you know continuing this growth momentum that we've now built the outlook for margin trajectory and cost optimization plans for our site. We have been working on, in fact, several initiatives across various lines for the last several quarters. Um, and um, actually, I'm very happy to say that it has actually paid dividends uh, um, over uh, over the last few quarters and the current quarter as well. 
particularly if we talk about uh, issues like returns um, and air freight and so on, these have been captured along the gross margins line. But unfortunately, because of secular inflation that has plagued everybody, uh, it's actually around 5% for us, uh, in some ways, the, the gains have been kind of camouflaged in the overall result itself. Uh, if you look at, for example, the manpower cost, you know, it has uh, grown by only 3% for the entire year. Uh, it's obviously because of the fact that we, in the, we went about uh, rationalizing the, the workforce across several functions, including manufacturing, R&D, and the like. Uh, there are, of course, other heads that we've been working on. There has been progress on the idle time, uh, but we also lost volumes. Uh, we are also uh, you know, working on, in fact, other initiatives on, on inventory write tops and the like. Uh, but in some ways, there is I would also be kind of offset by uh, the need to actually invest in uh, areas in India, especially when it comes to uh, heat on the ground, uh, sales and promotion expenses, and other areas in terms of uh, businesses that we have uh, that we have got into. So you would expect, in fact, the margins to progress in line with, in fact, the uh, you know movement on the top line because of uh, newer products coming in in America and uh, looking at, uh, in fact, uh, expansion of products like uh, Foster and the like in, in Europe. Uh, and of course, as we uh, unfold, in fact, uh, our, our, our uh, complex injectables pipeline and inhalations, obviously top line will grow. And of course, the initiatives on the uh, on the cost reduction front will continue. So you would expect successive increase in EBITDA margin profile over the next, next several quarters uh, going forward. Okay, so that's the optimistic commentary coming as far as the margin expansion is concerned. But Vanita, what about uh, the pricing of Albatrol? Uh, because Lupin's positioning on the same was something that the street wanted to know more about. Your take? The market position is uh, pretty stable on Albatrol. We've uh, been at 20% plus share of uh, the generic market and uh, that continues. Pricing also has been fairly stable. I mean, uh, uh, you know, uh, we've had uh, um, the, the market has not uh, changed in any material manner in terms of uh, the competitive dynamics in Albutrol. So it's been a fairly stable product. Nilesh, your API business has seen a very good growth in Q4. In fact, that's uh, pretty much the trend across the sector. Talk to us about your own business, this part of the business. Is this recovery sustainable? API overall has bounced back after several tepid quarters in the past. So the API business was, you know, very tepid in the in the earlier quarters, right? It really is a bounce back that that I see, and it's driven by the core products, products like Cephalor, Seven ACCA, you know, Cephalosporin APIs primarily. Um, um, and we would expect it to continue at this level. We don't expect this kind of growth to continue, but we would expect it to continue at this kind of level. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it. it you know, I think there's some good growth drivers in the API and what we call the API plus business, which is the, you know, the global institution part as well. Um, so it's going to be a good year for that team. Um, but we would see API growing through the year as well. Um, but obviously larger growth on the institution side, both for the ARVs as well as for TV products. Okay, thank you, Vinita, Ramesh, as well as Nilesh for joining us and talking to us about the earnings of Lupin and the outlook going forward. We'll let you go on that note. But shifting focus to the headlines coming in from the GoFirst.